Hey guys, welcome back to Genji Plans. Today I'm doing a weekly plan with me. Um, always excited for these. It gets to show you like a really good in-depth kind of view of the day-to-day -day, as it were, or I guess week-to-week -week of my planning um, and how I actually have been doing it the last few weeks or so. So this is the first tab in my planner and it's got this cute little picture that I printed. I've started doing that um, instead of like making something funny, artsy, whatever. And like, or or worrying about like printing out stuff and then not wanting to throw it away. Um, I'm just I'm printing a photo and not worrying about whether it's going to be there for a long time. So this is actually a recent one. I thought it was super cute. Um, so this last week, I have been on the week on a fold out. I came back to these. These are the week on a fold out from my summer touch. These call to me for a little bit more decorative planning. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I feel like I'm starting to run low on some of these like um label typey I don't know they're like this is a quarter box and this is a tiny little one um this type of sticker so I actually just placed a big new order for planner Kate um twin 16 is not open right now which I was like waiting for that to happen but it doesn't look like it's going to so I'm going to get some more planner Kate stickers in the meantime um so this is the insert we're going to be using today um sorry you might be able to hear my husband just turning the car outside I think he's doing some work on that um, and then these here, I'll show you the sort of blank one. Um, these are new from my summer touch as well. These are half dated inserts. So it goes one through 31, but then the day of the week and the month are like you circle it yourself. So you don't have to fill out the date, but you do have to select the month and the day. So they have a bit more utility there. You can use them the whole year and that's great. Um, I have been using this for the past week and some things about it, it it's got some check boxes over on the right side which I'm not used to um, so a lot of times I've just been kind of doing things sort of in columns but the focus on the hourly has been really good for me this week because we have been my husband has been self-isolating and so I've been taking care of the baby by myself for three days that's over now he's fine we're good um, things are going back more or less to normal um, next week but in the meantime I really needed to like focus on like okay from 8 30 to 9 to 9, 10 o'clock no 8 to 9 30 <laughs> there's a block of TV shows and from 3 to 4 30 there's a block of TV shows and then here's the block where she naps so this is the you know amount of time that I need to like focus on entertaining her while also working from home it's been a lot but like I said that's going back to normal so I have already the sixth printed out because it was on the back of the fifth so I'm gonna leave that on this side of the weekly for now and then um, I'm going to try out a new insert for next week so this is also brand new from my summer touch and this one is um, an undated daily but it's the same idea here where you've got the months days of the week and then you put the date here so you write it in yourself makes it I think even a little bit more flexible um, and so this one does have some checkbox areas down here timed stuff goes in here and then it's got this like time tracking clocks which is 24 hours this looks like it could be really useful or on days that I don't feel like I need it just kind of a pain to have there so we'll see I'm gonna find out if I like them or not I'm testing them out and I'm excited to test them out <laughs> this has space for a lot of interesting little things weather um, entertainment slash reward uh, health log gratitude mood you can rate your day like you're in school breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So a lot of those little things that could be, if I'm feeling up to being a bit more hands-on in my planner, this could be really cool um, as little, you know, pre-printed things to fill out. I'm going to try not to let myself feel uh, pressure to fill them out though it, on days where I feel like I need a little bit less structure. So we're going to start by decorating the weekly here. And then I'm going to go show you how I'm putting together my weekly to-do list because that has been a little bit new for me in the last month since I filmed one of these.
right. So there we go. That's a little bit fun and decorative for a change. Um, and we've got a couple of things going on I already know about. Um, I have to pick up some groceries on Monday because normally we do that Saturday, but being quarantined has thrown that all off. So we need some milk and cream cheese and stuff that we're picking up on Monday after I get the baby from the babysitter. Um, we have a doctor's appointment for her on Tuesday and then we have to hit up the post office. And then obviously on Wednesday I have to pay the babysitter and I always almost forget. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on here. Then um, we were gonna have a barbecue for our daughter's birthday this weekend, but instead it's getting moved to next weekend. Um, and so I left space here for the time because I don't know what time it's gonna be yet. My husband is mostly in charge of planning it. And so this is gonna be space for a couple of to-do items for that. I thought it would look cute here. So that's what it is. It's probably not the most functional, but maybe it will help that it won't get lost in the general to-do list here. And then I didn't write the time for mass. Um, Partly because we could decide to go to another time, partly because we don't really need to remember what time it is because it's always the same time. Same with this. I know the grocery order is pick up after I pick up the baby and so it's always the same. So I went with a little bit of a gray and red theme this time because last weekend, oh, last week was a little bit more of a pink and red and I'm running out of red labels. So I'm hoping that I'll have my new sticker haul in by the time I need to do my weekly next week. Um, so now it's time to actually get down to the nitty gritty of the to-do list. So I think I might toss a little bit more of this gingham washi down here. Oh, maybe this direction before I start. How's that? All right, so I have several different places in my planner that have to-do list of various types. Um, and I have gone ahead and used just these little page flags that I keep back here. Where are they? I got these from Dysa forever ago. Little plasticky page flags. I've been using those on the bottom. You might be able to see them here. To show a place where there is a to-do list so that it makes it quick and easy when I need to go through at the beginning of every week or maybe halfway through the week when I'm feeling like I'm running out of things on my to-do list or wanna make sure that I'm on top of things. Um, I can go through all of my to-do lists quickly without having to dwell on the spreads in here that are not as actionable. So we're gonna start at the beginning and I actually don't have a tab and should have one on this spread here which is my context list slash next next action item. So this is general anything to do list. Most of these are for specific projects or areas of my life. So uh, let's see. We actually start first on this dated uh, to dos. I haven't replaced my daughter's toothbrush head yet because we were in a different bathroom for my husband and I didn't have access to the new toothbrushes. So I do need to do that. Um, so I'll just put that, yeah. Hackness toothbrush. My toothbrush also. Then, yes, Kaiser questionnaire. If something comes up that needs to get done on a specific day or around, you know, in a specific week, I will go ahead and put it here instead of on the general context list. Mark Agnes's height. We have it written on her wall, um, how tall she was. I'm spelling height wrong while I'm talking. How tall she was on her first birthday. And since she just turned two, it is a, Time to do that. This twitch thing. Do I put it? Yeah, I will. All right, I'll put it on. I'll put Tuesday dash. Twitch, so I'll see it. Because I go through this list like every day. So that's everything for this week that's on here. Then I'll go through this list. I think we need to. I need to talk to my husband about this. Yes, backup videos. Alright, 
the next thing um well, you can kind of look this has been sort of my list of projects that i'm sort of nesting on um and so the thing i wanted to work on this week is newborn wardrobe then the next tab down here stuff for the garden Let's see grass around tree the next two tabs that I was gonna flip through are actually things for our daughter's birthday parties. So the first one is the one that's happening this Sunday, like tomorrow as I'm filming, but it'll be done by the time um, this this week runs around. And so it doesn't even matter. Plus I don't wanna have to worry about blurring it out for you. The next is about the barbecue. Also stuff that you shouldn't be able to see. Then the next one is Ganchi stuff, which also you don't really wanna see, but well, I mean, you want to see it. I don't want you to see it. Uh, this is something that I have been dawdling on. But I need to do. If any of you are interested in um, writing a guest post on my blog, I'm going to be sub uh, requesting submissions for guest posts while I'm on sort of maternity leave. So do give me a ring or a, you know, con reach out to me if you're interested in that. Um, otherwise I will be requesting in a couple different places. So that is basically what I do is I just make sure that there's a tab at the bottom of anything that's a to-do list and then I just pull it all over. And I'll probably check back sometime around Wednesday, Thursday to see if there's anything else that needs adding. I'll keep adding to it as the week goes on. But just basically, that is all I have to do. And then every morning or evening, I guess, preferably evening the night before, I will set up my daily with anything here that's actionable, anything here that's specific for the day or anything that I think that I can get done. Um, fill that all out and use it for my daily. So there you go. That's how I've been planning my weeks. I hope that you found that helpful or useful at all. Um, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like, bu like button. And if you didn't, but make sure to subscribe or whatever. Um, I'll see you in the next video. I post twice a week, so the next one will be on Sunday, and it's going to be my seven-month bump day. Can you believe that? Yeah. All right, I'll see you then. Bye.